Good evening, everybody. Time is 7.01, and I'm calling to order the February 16, 2022 Borough Council voting session. Uh, item number two is the Pledge of Allegiance, which I'd like to be led by Ms. Dorsey. All right, uh, item number three is comments, suggestions, petitions by residents in attendance regarding items that are not on the agenda. If anybody would like to speak, please come up to the mic, state your name and address for the record. I see none. So we will move on to item number four, comments by Borough Council and the mayor. Uh, do we do it by word? Does it matter really how I call it? Just down the line, okay. All right, so uh, Mr. McCoy, would you like to start? Thank you, Ms. Vaccaro. Thank you very much. I am very excited to really get started on this. Um, I'm looking forward to some really wonderful opportunity to work with everyone in our borough and in our community. So thank you. Thank you, Mr. McGinnis. I'm gonna keep it brief and just say thank you. Thank you, Mr. Flynn. I love this part of the month. Greetings from the Swedish ward in the borough, the sixth ward. Uh, I have a, a disclaimer to give tonight. Not only are we the Swedish ward in the borough, but as I walked around the borough, I counted just in the sixth ward, five distilleries. I have five breweries in the sixth ward, which is phenomenal. Not only can you um, get happy, you can get happier as you walk around the sixth ward. And um, other than that, please enjoy uh, the uh, President's Day holiday on Monday coming up. And we'll see you next month. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Flynn. Mr. Allen. Yeah, I just wanted to uh, say publicly that it's been a, a really nice month with our uh, new council. And um, I'm really encouraged so far by uh, the work we've done, you know, in this short amount of time already. And I'm looking forward to the next year with everyone. Thanks. Thank you. Ms. Dorsey. Stefano, uh, oh, Stefano, sorry. <laughs> no better. Uh, I too just wanted to welcome our new council members. I'm looking forward to working with uh, council and residents and uh, looking forward to the changes that we can make Westchester, the borough, even better. Thank you. Uh, Mayor D. Baptiste. President, uh, I wanted to share two pieces of good news uh, from the police department. One is that uh, Westchester, uh, after countless years, and Chief Moorhead will elaborate, I'm sure, next month once it becomes official. But on March 2nd, uh, he and a small contingency of officers will travel to Harrisburg because Westchester police officers have uh, passed their accreditation, um, and that's good news. Worked long and hard on it. And this holds the police officers at a higher level of accountability, which is what we all need to see for our. That's my first piece of good news. And my second piece of good news is that Westchester uh, began this month uh, the Westchester Police Department, and I'm going to read this, became the first remote emergency protection from abuse site in Pennsylvania. And this came after months of coordination between the President Judge, Chester County, MJs, and the Crime Victim Center. And why that is, is because when a petitioner who lives on one side of the county has difficulty getting transportation, to whoever the judge might be on call. They are close to Westchester and Westchester is the quickest place they can come to Westchester and actually um, file their 
file for their emergency PSA. So I think that's good news for those who are victims of crime and domestic violence, uh, that they have an alternative so that they don't have to another Chester and the police are working with crime victims to accommodate the, those people. Thank you. Thank yes, you. Uh, thank you. It, it's been a joy to our council and welcome everyone. I've enjoyed it too, my last 30 days, 30 some days. Thank you, Mayor. Um, I would just like to, uh, first of all, let's say congratulations on the accreditation. I, I know as being uh, a member of the Public Safety Committee for the past several years, um, how important that was to the police department and how hard everyone there worked. So that really is, it's an incredible uh, achievement. So thank, congratulations to you um, and the chief and everybody in the department. Um, I also want to, just speaking of public safety, uh, I know that, i sure you smelled all the smoke last weekend, I think it was, when uh, there was a big fire. And I think it was actually, in, was in, it wasn't like Highland Orchards, right? And I, one of the things I missed from the going to public, being on public safety committee was just the stories of valor and courage that I hear. And I know that our, I know our fire departments were out there uh, fighting that. So I want to thank them for all their service. And, and uh, you know, I miss those stories. And I, I kind of, I need to come back to the public safety and just sit in and just to hear those things. We, we, we as a public, we all need to hear that uh, uh, more often. Um, and. I just want to say how, same, you know, reiterate what everybody up here has said, how pleasant it's been. It's been a really great transition, and I'm really excited for the, the next several years work with everybody up here on the dais. And uh, thank you uh, to the borough manager and to, to Dana for just helping me kind of transition. You guys have been amazing, so thank you. Okay. Moving on to item number five, which is to announce the purpose of the February 16, 2022 executive session. Uh, we met and discussed a uh, personnel issue and an illegal matter. Um, that being said, uh, before the discussion, I, I want to ask if there was any amendments to the agenda. Anybody had any agenda? Yes, Mr. Stefano, I'd like to amend the agenda tonight. I'd like to add two items, one to discuss uh, Lieutenant employment and one to discuss um, approve or not approve participating in a distributor settlement agreement. Cardinal Health, Amerisaurus Bergen, Janssen Pharmaceuticals, and its parent company, Johnson & Johnson, to resolve the opioid list. Yeah. Do so we have a, a second? Second. So we get a seconds. Okay. Um, that being said, we'll call that, if we approve this, then we'll say item F and G. There's two items that Ms. Dorsey made a motion for. Any discussion on that? Okay. All right, uh, Mr. Metric, would you call the question? Sure, Mr. Uh, Mr. Flynn? Ms. Vaccaro? Uh, Mr. McGinnis? Yes. Mr. Allen? Yes. Mr. McCoy? Yes. Ms. Dorsey? Yes. Mr. Stefano? Yes. Okay, motion passes 7-0 to add two more items to the agenda. Um, Okay, moving on to our discussion agenda. Uh, item A is to appoint James Capello, uh, the manager of Saloon 151, to the Community Campus Committee. Um, anybody had any discussion or questions about this? Then I think a, a motion to appoint him uh, would be in order. A motion, Mr. Stefano. Committee. So moved. Oh, second. Second. Okay, there you go. Okay. okay. M motion was made by Ms. Dorsey and seconded by Mr. Flynn. Um, any discussion or, from the or comment from the public? Okay. Mr. Metric, would you call the question? Mr. F Mr. Flynn? Yes. Uh, Ms. Vaccaro? Yes. Mr. McGinnis? Yes. Mr. Allen? Yes. Mr. McCoy? Yes. Ms. Dorsey? Yes. Mr. Stefano? Yes. Motion carries 7-0. And uh, I just want to thank Mr. Capello for uh, his uh, uh, willingness to serve in that capacity. Uh, item number B, or letter B, is appoint a member of the Public Safety Committee to the Community Campus Committee. So one of our members of the Public Safety Committee has to, should be on the committee. So does anybody have a, uh, somebody in mind? Mr. Stefano, I'd like to nominate Mr. Allen to the Campus Committee. 
Motion was made to add Mr. Allen. Second. I'd like to second that. Ms. Vaccaro seconds. Any discussion or, or comment? Okay, Mr. Metric, would you call the question? Mr. Flynn? Yes. Ms. Vaccaro? Yes. Mr. McGinnis? Yes. Mr. Allen? Yes. Mr. McCoy? Yes. Ms. Dorsey? Yes. Mr. Stefano? Yes, motion carries 7 0. Uh, thank you, Mr. Allen, for, for serving on that. Appreciate it. Um, moving on to item C, which is discuss entering into a professional services agreement with D David McMain, Esquire, to provide legal services to the C Civil Service Commission. And I believe one of the issues or questions we had about it, um, if I'm correct, was uh, just the, if there's ever, there was any quotes put out there. Uh, for other uh, representation, or if we're just one person was sent to us. So, um, did you bring that up, Ms. Dorsey? That, yeah. That's correct. That's correct. Um, I asked whether or not there had been an, an RFP or request for proposal to for that representation. A good uh, standard operating procedure. I have more than one contract for you. So, Mr. Metric, was there any request? No, there was no formal RFQ put out by the borough. This was a uh, completely done by the Civil Service Commission to, I don't know if they reviewed multiple candidates, but this is their recommendation coming to just the commission. What uh, other thoughts from council? Yeah. <clears throat> um, I think that the uh, standard operating procedures, I believe, are when we put out an RFP or an RFQ, or an RFI normally comes from the finance department or administration and um, the police department can submit the people that they would like but, but it, you know we don't know uh, what other uh, legal services are out there uh, that would do the same thing so my feeling is that we should um, not move forward with this and, and resubmit it through the proper channels or committee other thoughts? Yeah, Mr. McCoy. Yes, um, Mr. Metric, is it true that uh, professional services typically are, are not subject to the same procurement uh, rules as just professional service? Professional services are one type of thing that can be bought by a municipality that don't have to go through the public bid process. That answers your question. Yes, thank you. Just to be clear, um, public bid process in the state of Pennsylvania. Uh, I think I might be wrong. I might be wrong about the exact. I'm wrong about the exact dollar amount, but around twenty. If a good or service is over twenty-two thousand dollars, it has to be publicly bid. Borough's standards for public bid are much lower than that. Um, so that that's where this this. Would, Okay, other thoughts? Okay, um, so uh, we're, we're here we are. We're either going to make a motion to uh, approve this or we would like somebody to make, make a motion. I, I would make a motion to deny the request so that we can follow procedure uh, for, uh, you know, attaining a solicitor for civil service. Motion has been made, seconded by Mr. Flynn. Discussion, comments? Okay, so the motion was to deny this request, correct? Okay, all right. Mr. Metric, would you call that question? Uh, Mr. Flynn? Yes. Ms. Vaccaro? Yes. Mr. McGinnis? Yes. Mr. Allen? Yes. Mr. McCoy? Yes. Ms. Dorsey? Yes. Bono? Yes. Motion carries 7-0. Okay, moving on to item D, which is to deny the request from the Ch County of Chester for partial exoneration of the 2021 real estate taxes for the property located at 313 West Market Street. Discussion, any comments? Okay. Um, uh, Mr. Mr. Stefano, yes. I just I would only add uh, last night, I, I mentioned that, uh, you know, I feel like the County is a good partner and in, and in good faith. Uh, perhaps this is something we 
we should consider. We've over the last five years gotten about one hundred seventy-five thousand dollars in grants. Uh, the sale of the building, the tax, real estate transfer tax of two hundred twelve thousand dollars to borrow. Um, and in terms of planning, uh, I'm not sure. Perhaps, Mr. Mecca, you can to to that. Was that taken into account in in budgeting since it was it occurred back in in April? Um, the quick answer is no. We didn't know when the sale of the property was going to happen, and for us to have made a decision about the budget in 2021, we would have had to known about it in. October of 2020, that's a little before my time, but uh, that's when the budget cycle gets ready to be approved and finished. So we didn't know at that time that the property would be sold in April. It didn't factor into our uh, 2021 financial planning. Thank you. But, but it does factor into our uh, this year's budget. I would just want to remind council that the, as a member of the finance committee, we voted three nothing to deny this request. Mr. Spahn, I'd like to make a motion that we deny the request of Chester County for partial exoneration of the real estate tax. I second. Motion was made and seconded to uh, deny the request from the county. Uh, any further discussion or comments? Okay. Mr. Metric, would you call the question? Uh, Mr. Flynn? Yes. Ms. Vaccaro? Yes. Mr. McGinnis? Yes. Mr. Allen? Yes. Mr. McCoy? No. Dorsey? Yes. Ano? Yes. Motion carries six to one. Moving on to item E. Discuss the petition by split rail for an additional raised dining platform. Uh, that's at 15 North Walnut Street. I know we have some folks there, the owner and representation. Um, Any, would you like to say anything first or would have us discuss? I mean, I feel like. Well, I think we went through it last night. Um, two years, the last two years, we've had three parking spots. We're trying to uh, get approval for two parking spots. Fifth, I want to say permanent, but the uh, platform that has already been approved in township with the metal framing and the pavers, metal and wood bottom. Uh, it's the look of safe and it's not the big wooden one picture with the barrels that we had two years ago. Uh, and it, it's really out of COVID and what's going on and people that value in dining more. They just feel that it's necessary for survival. The uh, uh, after last night's meeting, the uh, I think the most important word that I heard was contiguous. Uh, since we're going to have to revisit the ordinance, uh, to change the ordinance because it, it specifically states what we're allowed to do, what we're not allowed to do. Uh, I think the important part of it is going to be to being contiguous. The platforms have to be contiguous together. Now I was out there today, uh, and the drawing that we see is a little conf it's confusing till you see what is there uh they have a the first platform existing is in front of their front door then the next one's in front of sue kim's and they're giving up a full parking spot and a half a parking spot so they're actually condensing themselves into a tighter unit which is safer uh and the lines on the street are so distorted that <laughs> Uh, we had to figure out what was actually part of parking spot because there's too many lines on the street. Uh, but the uh, uh, as we as we uh, move through the process, I think if more and more people are going to be asking for a dual platform, as long as they're contiguous, I think it'll benefit the borough to have people eating uh, safely outside. That was my inspection with Mr. O'Brien this morning. Um, uh, came to that conclusion, but it's safer doing it the way they have it proposed now. Uh, 
Mr. Sano, I'd like to make a motion to approve the petition by foot rail for an additional raised dining platform at Walnut Street. I'll second. Okay, the motion's been made and seconded to uh, approve this. Question uh, on the motion, Mr. Yeah, Stefano. Okay. The, uh, we have to go through the, you know, the change of the ordinance first, I believe, uh, before supersede an ordinance. I could be wrong, but you, know, you can't change a law. Um, let's have Mr. Has been, uh, I don't want to say change, but it has, there has been a precedent set where they have issued second platforms due to existing, due to circumstances. It's been an exception. I don't know if you can call this an exception because eventually it sounds like it's going to be approved. But the only thing I want to say is we do have to get this thing built and we might not even get it built by June or so. We, if we don't, if we have to keep waiting, it was just now we might not be able to get it built till June. I don't want to have to have it built in September and then I lost the whole summer. I'm not, I'm, I'm voting in favor of it. I'm no, I understand out there today. But I'm sure we have an ordinance is something that was approved and it's on the books. Uh, I don't know how, I don't know how we amend the ordinance to, to give them special exemption because then somebody else is going to come back in. Uh, let's have Mr. Gore give his uh, thoughts on this. Sure. Uh, yeah, we were looking at this today. The section that actually uh, provides for the requirements for the dining platforms. Uh, one parking space in front of the business and two for the dock is actually in the regulations, the additional dining regulations that are not spelled out in the actual ordinance. They are referenced in the ordinance. Um, this isn't a zoning or subdivision land development ordinance, so it would be the, up to borough council to make a special exception in this case that would be appropriate. Um, in the event that we need to we visit the ordinance in the future, it can be done by resolution because those guidelines are adopted by resolution. Change those at any, at any time. That that makes a lot of sense. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Gore, for clarifying that. Appreciate Excellent. Thank that, you. That, that, that keeps that... the dust clean. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It keeps us clean on what we're supposed to do and not supposed to do. Okay. Thanks, Mr. Flynn. Uh, any other discussion or, or comments from anybody? Okay. Uh, Mr. Metric, would you call that question, please? Mr. Flynn? Yes. Uh, Ms. Vaccaro? Yes. Mr. McGinnis? Yes. Mr. Allen? Yes. Mr. McCoy? Yes. Ms. Dorsey? Yes. Mr. Stefano? Yes. Motion carries 7 0. Yeah, 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 you're welcome. Yeah. Good luck. Thank you. All right. So moving on to our, our items that were added. Item F um, is. Okay. Item F was an added motion to approve the suspension of Officer Chris Daly's employment with the Westchester Police Department, effective 1231-2021. I'd like to make a motion, Mr. Stefano, to approve the suspension of Officer Chris Daly's employment with the Westchester Police Department, effective 1231-2021. I'll second that. Okay, motion was made and seconded. Any uh, discussion or, or, or comment? Okay, Mr. Metric, would you? Oh, Excuse yes. me. The, uh, Sorry. With, with the suspension of uh, Lieutenant Daly, uh, that comes, this is our first meeting after, first meeting uh, within the, the 30 days or 20 days that we get together. So. Uh, so the, the motion actually says December 31st, correct? Yeah, that's when the suspension was was happened, but then we have to uphold it after 30 days. This is the first time we're meeting. Thank you very much. Uh, okay, uh, no other comment or question. Mr. Metric, would you call the, the question? Mr. Flynn? Yes. Uh, Mr. Carl? Yes. Mr. McGinnis? Yes. Mr. Allen? Yes. Mr. McCoy? Yes. Ms. Dorsey? Yes. Mr. Stefano? Yes. Motion carries 7 0. Uh, moving on to our last new item, which was item G. I need language. I'm sorry for item G. Let's 
Sorry, thank you. Uh, the motion uh, for G was, or I'm sorry, the item was to approve participating in a distributor settlement agreement against McKeeson Cardinal Health and Amerisource Bergen and Janssen Pharmaceuticals Incorporated and its parent company, Johnson & Johnson, to resolve all opioids litigation. I, if you want this, I'm... Any discussion? And I think a motion would be in order. I make a motion that we uh, approve it as read. Second. Good, excellent. Yes, the motion was made by Mr. Flynn, seconded by Mr. McGinnis. Any further comment from the public? Okay, seeing none, Mr. Metric, call the question, please. Thank you, uh, Mr. Flynn? Yes. Mr. Caro? Yes. Mr. McGinnis? Yes. Mr. Allen? No. Mr. McCoy? Yes. Ms. Dorsey? No. Mr. Stefano? Yes. Motion carries five to two. Okay, thank you. Next up is our consent agenda. I'd like to make a motion to approve the consent agenda. Thank you, Mr. Allen. I'd like to second it. Seconded by Ms. Dorsey. Um, any comment on our consent agenda? Okay, Mr. Metric, please call the question. Mr. Flynn? Yes. Ms. Vaccaro? Yes. Mr. McGinnis? Yes. Mr. Allen? Yes. Mr. McCoy? Yes. Ms. Dorsey? Yes. Stefano? Yes, motion carries 7-0, which brings us to other business, is that correct? All right, is there any other business? Mr. President. Mr. Flynn. The uh, council person from the sixth ward would like to propose to council uh, starting in uh, April. I had to count the months, it was really difficult. April that uh, we move our work session and our voting session to six o'clock instead of seven o'clock. Uh, to give everybody a chance to, to uh, get get here and get home uh, at a reasonable time. We meet all of our committee meetings at a much earlier time at 5.30, and then um, 6 o'clock would be more beneficial for council to start early, get finished earlier. So uh, that's my, my thought for other business. I know we have to put that on the agenda for next month, but I want to bring it uh, to full attention for council to consider. We can we can discuss tonight. We can't we can't take I'm action. In agreement with that. Sound like something that we'd all be in favor of at some point. But it, it may be tough for me. To be honest. Yeah. All right. Well, I mean, I think we have enough to at least. I mean, we'll put it on for for next month. But so, what is, I guess the act be on the act committee. That sounds appropriate. Yes. Okay. Yeah. All right. Great. Yeah. Thank Thank you, Mr. President. Yeah. You got it. Any other business? All right, seeing no other business, this meeting is adjourned.